Alright lads, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 and the Pax Britannica mod as the United Kingdoms of Germany and of course the DV party and Franz Ferdinand II. As myself and Juan Matteo said, he, like he's old. He's so old. Hopefully he doesn't get cybernetics and augmentations and all that, but damn, that man is old. Like, <laughs> well, why did we pick him? I get it, he was probably next in line for succession, but damn it. Damn, that man is old. Also, I need to uh, read that description sometimes. Or sometime, rather. Now, that is... I, I imagine Serbia is going to lose. I imagine it would be odd if they didn't. Now, I have installed the 12 support companies mod. So that we can put literally everything we want into our divisions. It's really going to hit our org, though. So let's hope that we'll get enough uh, in stats in return. Or at least be able to uh, use cast effectively to blunt the enemy unit's attack. Now, rolling on experts in heavy machinery production, modify production efficiency model by production efficiency retention and factor out plus 5% each. Uh, in this day and age, it is vital to make sure the workload of work can be done so efficiently and quality ensuring as possible. We can ensure at, uh, of this process by, by putting heavy machinery in all factories, which will speed up the workload and even increase the output of the factories, as it will replace many workers whose work is, no, is now no longer, no longer needed and replaced by more efficient machines. The Dixie Rebellion. Okay, we'll say 23rd of March. Let's see how, la how long they last. <clears throat> yep, this will be the last one that we, that we actually want to maintain this company. So we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 support companies. In hindsight, I didn't need the... Uh, well, actually, yeah, and then 10 for the artillery. And 11 for the support anti-air. So yeah, I did need the 12. Nice. More military factories available. I think we just got the, uh, some of our support company military factories. Fantastic. Get up to five on that if we can. Logistics company, one. Fantastic. Now that's for 36, so we'll come back to that. That's all fine. 35 radar. Let's check air. Fine there. Infantry. 1918. Why, why do we always have to research that? It makes no sense. I will read uh, Ferdinand II's description. Won't read his titles though. Get more intel going. Uh, passive defense. What's the one here? It's like. Uh, it's just better basically. Intelligence gained from operatives and infiltrated assets. Yeah, that seems useful. Now. Former Archduke Franz Ferdinand, now Ferdinand II, Emperor of all Germans and German Imperial possessions, was born as the cousin of former Emperor Rudolf II and was thus not far down the line to inherit the German crown. Yet, as long as Rudolf's daughter Elizabeth was alive, uh, Ferdinand didn't bet highly on his odds of becoming monarch. Our Germany's monarch, large parts of his early life were thus spent hunting and travelling, mounting the most exotic of animals on the palace walls as his tactical achievements, as hunting was not far removed from the realities of modern warfare. Now we'll uh, come over here. Massive floods in Rhineland in the Rhineland Palatinate. Consequences of a harsh storm a few days ago can now be seen in a region of Germany called Rhineland Palatinate. In this region lies the heavily industrialised Ruhr Valley. This valley is the heart of, of the German economy and, and it is now partially flooded. Hopes have been destroyed, factories have turned into ruins, and infrastructure looks like it has seen a war. In and around the valley, access has been cut off from various cities such as Bern, Cologne, Dusseldorf, and many more towns and villages. The people and the local government have all asked for aid from the national government, who is still discussing the matter. Is that it? Political power, really? You know, this reminds me of a joke, laughs. Surely that would cost us political power. Like, like how would this ever grant us political power, you know? Look at us, we stood by and did nothing during the floods. We are powerful. Try and get more factories. On aircraft. Now, where were we? Range from kangaroos and alligators to elephants and a priced... Uh, priced... Uh, prized. 
Albino Gorilla. The heads decorating the walls are lined up like a light, like a timeline, detailing Ferdinand's greatest exploits. While the Archduke enjoyed his hunting expeditions across the mystical continents of Asia, Africa, and Oceania, sometimes nearly wounding himself during the process, tension brewed after the death of Rudolf II. Uh, Elizabeth's political leanings uh, terrified the upper echelons of German society, which was able to mobilize a significant portion of voters during the election, uh, during the last election, kicking the UDP out of power in favor of the ultra-conservative DV. As the conflict, oh, France and Russia in an alliance. Uh, as the conflict between Elizabeth and the new government grew, decisions needed to be made. A telegram from Vandenbroek changed history, uh, placing the giddy Ferdinand on the throne of a German empire. Now the many animals of Conopista. Castle have been moved into Vi uh, Weilberg Palace, the private residency of Emperor Ferdinand, gifted to him by the Hessian administration after his ascension to the throne. There he monitors the situation somewhat approvingly, giving a carte blanche to the DV and, it and its imperial ambitions. Yes, due to his absolutist tendencies, remains stubborn in his pragmatically pacifist views. No irresponsible war uh, shall be started during his reign, but what is an irresponsible war really? I mean, yeah, we're not going to go on any offensive war. So I don't know what that's about. Maybe that's uh, talking about content future in the further down the line, maybe. Now we're getting another operative slot. Fantastic. Targeted sabotage efficiency. That's not necessary. Propaganda mission effects. Boost ideology. That's not necessary. Uh, yeah, we'll get suicide pills and then we'll start working on cryptology. Fantastic. Now, in 50 days, we'll get rid of this horrific national spirit, which is giving us minus 20% construction speed, minus 5% production efficiency cap, and minus 10% factor output. Active state focuses cap increased by one. I don't know what that... Oh, yeah, that. I forgot about that. I never used that. What is that? What even, like... It's odd. I don't want to click that, because I don't, I don't know what it does. Finally, the new Germany has achieved something the previous governments have failed at, a full economic recovery. We may have been severely weakened by the stock crash of 1910, which put our nation and its people into an almost everlasting depression. We can now say with confidence we have come out of the depression stronger than ever and able to take on any foe who wishes to anger or pick a fight with us. New divisions are here. Fantastic. I think I'll put them under a new marshal. Who else do we have? Von Rundstedt. Nice. One run said you are probably going back to Italy. Yeah, we really don't have many generals at all. I dislike that greatly. Need these divisions to hold the front line if Italy falls, and I think they will fall. Angetreten. Nice notification to ruin the <laughs> ruin the ambience. Set the mood. Angetreten. Yep, more military factories. Build up in the seventy percent areas now. Or should I build and check because we don't have a core on it? Yeah, that's actually crazy that we don't have a core on, Czech on uh, Czechia. Bohemia. Start with that, I suppose. What are we importing? We can cut back on tungsten, number one. Yeah, we're not importing steel or anything like that. Good. After oh, nothing. After that, I think just upgrade all of these level sixes. Or yeah, anything below levels. Yeah, upgrade fives to uh, sevens and so on. Upgrade everything close to a seven to a level seven. Actually, not no 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 don't do that. Actually, no, yeah, we've maxed out building slots everywhere else. Yeah, do that. How is, yeah, Serbia's getting eaten alive. 
Now, another operative, Razor Maiden operative. They're easier to detect. Counterintelligence. Capture chance. Yeah, go on. We'll get Hannah Dutman. Make resistance contact. I think what we really want is that collaborative government. Yeah. You're already at, what is it? 95% it's not going to get any higher, so... Commencing ready. And we'll also do this operation's highest priority. Get the decryption. Sewer slide pills. Political discussion ends in big ball in Frankfurt. Politicians ascend into violence as a brawl breaks out as a... Uh, uh, as a brawl breaks out, as a few parties in the city of Frankfurt decide to gather and discuss the matters, however, it quickly seemed they could ever agree on anything. People assumed this was because they all associate with different ideologies and thus their ideas conflict. How uh, how this wasn't thought of before the meeting took place is unknown. The police eventually intervened in the fighting and arrested all attending members who would be uh, questioned individually. How the fight exactly started is still unknown, but bystanders suspect it was because of the topic social reform. At which point one of the members threw an orange at another person in the room, thus starting a fight. The police have not yet issued a statement which says whether all members will be trialled, or only the ones that were fighting when the police entered. Let's hold another round. No. I hate politics. 50 political power. Now, oh, what to spend this on? Theorist. Chief of Army. Why can't we get that? Oh, right, of course. Military High Command, I suppose, in that case. Or is it... Theorist? Technical Research Team. 150 for that. Can't change any of these. Actually, yeah, free trade, maybe. Going for free trade? Yeah, I think so. An extra 5% construction speed and, dock and factory and dockyard output. Not to mention more civilian factories if we can get our hands on them. Damn. It was like 23rd of March. Yeah, not even three months. Maybe, or maybe just about three months. I think the event fired uh, a few days after the war actually started. I'd actually need more trains as well. Give me another factory on train. Single company one, fantastic. Infantry, that's all 36 tech. Artillery, actually. Something for 36, there is, fantastic. Yeah, production's definitely gone up nicely. Of course, we are getting minus 26% factory output from our current stability, which is probably, even then, why, uh, even with the national spurt gone, it's the production is still fairly low. Yeah, we'll get this research slot right here. Expand Heidelberg University, one research slot. Sadly, the Great Conflict had a severe effect on the education and research sections of our country, as many young teachers, scientists, and geniuses were sent into battle and never returned. Thus causing a minor case of a brain drain, it is important we reverse the effects of this brain drain by lowering education costs and expanding the colleges and subjects of the most prominent in Germany, the Heidelberg University. Wow. Serbia so actually ended up taking Budapest. Because I think they got driven back from it, but they must have launched a desperate blast all-out attack to get it back. Or not get it back, rather just conquer it in the first place. It'd be cool to have Albania... Greece and Turkey intervene in this war as well. I 
think we definitely need to get our support equipment up. It's a good thing we're going to try and get up to about 15 divisions here on the Italian front. It's good terrain for the most part. Mountains, mountains, mountains. Right. Sort of marsh. Yeah, marsh and... Oh, planes. That, that, that last one's not so good. There we go. The has gone. If need be, we can fall back to behind this river. Something like Maybe around there. But I'd like not to abandon any territory, if at all possible. Now we should be able to ultimatum to Danubi. I don't know if we want to do that, because if they say no, and it says that it's very likely that they will say no, we will massively extend our border with the Russians by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven tiles. I don't know if we can hold that. However, we will do a treaty with Romania. Romania does not have the power or will to fight in another war. However, despite this, they can still be beneficial for our cause, especially their oil deposits. We can promise to ease the burdens of Hungary from their losses. Um, I think ease the burden of Romania from their losses and reparations caused by the war with economic uh, cooperation. This would be the first uh, step of re-establishing friendly relations with Romania and hopefully securing them as an ally in the future. Uh, Kingdom of Romania gets when Germany proposes economic treaty. Romania will very likely always accept the treaty as they direly need to renew their industry and national influence. Through this treaty, the cost uh, the costs Romanian resources will be greatly reduced for us to buy. Good. Do it. Reds in Belgrade. Oh, I love the super event. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. It's content. Right. Yeah, it's content. We'll uh, we'll send that ultimatum, and we will also put our entire bloody army on the border to knock them out as quickly as possible. All right. Except you, because you are not finished training yet. Achtung. Angetreten. Now, large Jackman march in Hamburg. Just drop this battle plan. This will be the test war that we wanted. Not, not a test war, but more of a just war for this for experience's sake. Now, the harbour of Hamburg is always busy, but recently it has been more busy than it normally is. The Jacobites are marching to the city. They are prot protesting against the German government and an end to the current type of ruling. They are displeased and will most likely continue to strike for a little while at least. People have suspected... Turn on the music. People have suspected others around the country will join their cause in other major cities, or even worse, they will gain support from the French Jacobites, French politicians, and maybe even the French government. It is still up in the air. Those damn Jacobins only want to idle around. Another 50 pistol power. Thank you. Now, this is active for 20 days. The Danubian Confederation has been a thorn in our sides, especially since their victory in the Balkan conflict. They have emerged as a second-rate great power and could potentially attack us if we go to war with France and Russia. The General Staff considers Hungary to be too great of a threat and suggests that before a second great war, we should enforce our control over them with every me uh, possible means necessary. Oh, I what am I saying? If we get them as a puppet, that's actually fantastic. Because then the Russians won't be able to attack them unless we call them into the war, hopefully. Kind of banking on that. The, the Danubian Confederation will receive an ultimatum. They will be forced to agree to reduce their army size and put restrictions on its build-up. Agree to sign non-aggression pacts with us and our allies. Guaranteed to respect Romanian and Serbian independence. And receive themselves a guarantee from us against aggression from France or Russia. It is highly likely that they will reject the ultimatum. So invasion plans of the Hungarian plans should be dra uh, drafted up in preparation. 20 days. Cast and fighters, that's perfect.
Uh, more tactical bars. Uh, is that all the Air Force? Sad. Don't even have a little bit more we could deploy. Okay, we do. That's good. Thank God. Still though, not a lot of aircraft whatsoever. Spend Heidelberg University, please right. do. Oh, that's 15 divisions. Let's get the four weapons too. Now, I think we can safely dismiss the rest of that. Yeah. Maybe cap and growth is nice to be fair. I think maybe it's time to start doing the rest of these. 200 crystal power would be lovely. Yeah, I think I want to get start doing these. 10% stability, yeah. 15% ideology drift defense. Yeah, pure cultural identity. All right. Suppose you have a navy, do you? I imagine not. You only recently got a coastline. Probably not. Now let me quickly check the recording, make sure all is well. Indeed, it appears to be fantastic. I'm gonna put. I know I said we were only going to going to go into 15 divisions with this, but uh, these are currently the only divisions that are actually training, and I want the divisions to be trained. So go there. How long until 20 days is finished? Four days. Grand job. Maintenance company one. Fantastic. Uh, the industry, yep. Yeah. Disperse three, please. Do they accept? Oh, I don't think so. I see, I see lines. Yeah. We got to go in. Right. Everybody very aggressive, please. Angetreten. Should have immediate air superiority. We do. Fantastic. How many divisions did they field? How many men do they have? Not many whatsoever. Yeah, we're, we're grand. This is a very large amount of territory to be invading. Like, this is all of Hungary, all of Slovakia, all of Transylvania, uh, Croatia, Bosnia. Like, we're getting a lot of territory for this invasion. Yeah, we got a new air base. It's fantastic. As soon as we get that airbase, we'll transfer these divisions down. Get that airbase, please. That airbase. Perfect. How big is it? No, it's not big.
Oh, casualties. How are we doing? 10,000 to 65,000. Fantastic. Right. Very good experience as well. <clears throat> yeah, keep going with the uh, sport equipment. We desperately need it. French family in Strasbourg attacked. A new police report from the city of Strasbourg which states that a few days ago a French family was attacked in the city on the streets by a German nationalists. The family had no political connections inside of Germany or outside of it. When interviewed after the attack, the man said that they consciously stay out of politics and don't affiliate themselves with any ideology or political party. Luckily, uh, luckily no one was killed from the family but one of the sons and the man were both severely injured but were able to recover. The police was only... Uh, was The police was only managed. The police were only able to capture one of the criminals but the, fam the family... Bruh. St stated that there were three total. The captured one won't talk and will face harsh charges if he doesn't ever open his mouth at all. Well, they're friends, so I don't care, but yeah, pretty much. I need political power. Sorry. Now, what was that? Pure cultural identity. Germany has been the home of the finest art, music, philosophy, and science in all Europe, perhaps all the world for centuries. Our history is one filled with countless glories. Our Christian faith has brought us the favor of God against the trends of atheism, weakness, and degeneracy. Why should we import foreign values and ways of life into our nation? Let us censor these things that are un-German and purge the rot that has so terribly afflicted our people. The government, in cooperation with local officials, clerics, and centers of culture and art, have decided to offer the German people an alternative. Across the nation, national uh, culture festivals are being organized in city squares and parish churches. German school children will read from great German authors and poets like Van Gogh, Schiller, Hein, and Hegel, along with the Bible for proper mo uh, moral guidance. Germany shall once again be a home of culture and civilization. God, um, when I see culture, obviously that, that's the German, you know, word for culture, but all, all I can see is Nick in the Discord saying creature with, with the K. Uh, add traditional values which grant civility plus 10%, ideology, drift defense plus 15%, replace neutral stance, uh, stance, replace neutral stance with um, segregation, minus 40% non-core manpower. Now, Translithanian Kingdom, that's a new name. Very nice. Translithania. Bela Miklos. Kingdom of Croatia is also back. Why are you back? How are you back? Makes no sense. Transylvania proclaimed German soldiers laid a decisive siege today in the city of Budapest with many remaining uh, Hungarian political members falling under enemy occupation and being rendered virtually useless in the management of the remaining Hungarian countryside. Small arms fire can still be heard amongst the city walls. However, most, if not all, of the Hungarian of the standing Hungarian army have laid down arms and have accepted the proposed German peace terms. Hungary, a nation that hasn't been occupied by a German sovereign state in almost a century, has once again found itself a puppet to its former masters within the Danube. What is we have Hungary's future now? Yeah, we basically got back all of the Austro-Hungarian territory there. Nice. I don't know what's going on with this, though. So how many uh, civilian factories do you have? What do you mean I don't know? What? Oh, you're not even a puppet? You got a puppet war goal on you? Makes no sense. That's stupid. Oh wait, what? Yeah, you're not even you're not even in my faction. I don't even have a faction. Bro, you're not a puppet. We literally just had a a white piece with a change of government. Is basically what happened there. That is terrible. Well, I suppose at least now we don't have to be worried about uh invasion from the Russians through uh Poland into Slovakia. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to annex this though. Have it be that. It's fine. And the borders are good here. So I think in Black Ice there were some finicky state borders along the uh, river, along the Danube. Now, 
have, though. Like, we don't get a regular peace deal, so we don't get their resources, we don't get resource rights, we don't get war reparations, we don't get anything. That sucks. Don't get them in a faction, don't get them, in the, don't get them as a puppet. That is very annoying. <sighs> Either way, though, successful conflict. How many casualties? 8,980 only. Fantastic. But it's one that said that we at least had at least suffered 10,000. I don't know what's going on there. So we have what? Not even, not even 400,000 men for the Eastern Front. God, we need so many more men. Yeah, speaking of that, time to get cracking. Literally just give me as many fucking divisions as you can. Oh, but I suppose we'd better do the, uh, the upgrading the divisions. Motorized Recon Company, followed by Panzerhounds, because they can also serve as extra recon, I suppose. Followed by engineers, followed by flamethrowers because they have a short range. So we'll go with that first. Or no, what else do we have? Yeah. And then we'll just say the support artillery, or the support anti air, and the support artillery. Nice. 17,400 men in these divisions. And we still have yet to put in one, two, three, four, five support companies. Now, modernism, more like degeneracy, so true, King. Remove liberty and resistance, which grants daily political power gain, minus 0 0.05, stability minus 5%. Modern art, degenerate music, risque clothing, atheism, our nation is being infected by a plague of terrible ideas under the guise of modernity and progress. We're not opposed to progress, that is, economic progress, national progress, technological progress, and so on. What we cannot tolerate is this disgusting trend of modernism, whose supporters call it social progress. Why do we need such ideas? They are degenerate, individualistic, and encourage defiance against the teachings of the Holy Church and disobedience of the law. Every citizen must, must know that degenerate behaviors are not only a threat to their own health and well-being, but an attack on the moral health of Germany as a whole. Modernism is rot, degeneracy is treason. We don't need these foreign ideas when our people have 1,000 years of German culture to celebrate. So true! 150mm artillery. That's 155. Not too sure. Oh, I think we just got our collab government. Yeah, we did. Increased collaboration French National Worker State. 30%. Fantastic. That is fantastic. Does that reduce their surrender limit? I hope so. I hope so. We do the same on Russia? No, not 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 necessarily. Because by the time we already go to Russia, to focus on knocking out Russia, that means we've already knocked out France. Which means that, you know, with our full army bearing down on them, we won't really need the uh, collab government. I think you go back to building your intel network in Loire. Or Loire. Angetreten. No, yes, some of you are coming over here. That's right. perfect. It's November of 35, so we still have a year and uh, seven or eight months. How long to fill up all of that? 494 days, yeah. Need rations too late. How are we doing with the aircraft? Okay, we got our 11 and 10. That's, that's something at least. Criminal Marines take over cruiser in Bremen. Action uh, occurs once more on the shores of Germany, this time in Bremen. A group of German Marines have stolen a cruise with several hostages, including the wife of influential Bremen politician Herbert Dosselberg. However, unlike a usual hostage, they have not asked for a sum of money or any normal type of ransom. Instead, they have asked for the national government to enact several reforms and impose some new laws. 
These include better wages for Marines, an end on the ban of the Jacobites, parties in all Germany, several border changes with France and much more. If they do not comply and enact the reform and impose the laws within a week and a half, or they will suit several hostages per day, they delay. The government have only said that they do not deal with terrorists, but are still discussing the whole endeavour. As if we would ever do that. See, see, this is talking here about law changes, like border changes with France, like, you know... If we do accept this, we should probably give the French back Alsace or something like that, but, you know, we would never accept this. Kill all these traitors, no restraints, yes. Now, Chief of the... What are we going to go for here? Division of Attrition minus 8%. Paulus. Military theorist. See, I, I don't want to hold on to it because we're literally losing physical power every day. And that's only getting worse with each event because the unrest the unrest is increasing with with, uh, with each each of those that we actually reject because we just don't have the political power to spare on uh, on each of these events. 55, 65, 65, 50, 110. Oh, I th I thought it capped out at 100. Oh my god. So no matter what though, they all just they're all minus six percent no matter what level of honor there. Maybe it capped out at minus six percent? In that case that's grand. How long before we fill up these rations? That's fine. That's fair. Yeah. More for the infantry and artillery. Our roots are conflict. Any stability here? Yeah, there is some stability to be fair. I mean, yeah, division recovery, we gotta get that. Our roots are conflict. 25 army experience will place enough dead heroes for the end of time with German conflict spirit. Effective change, division recovery plus 20%, stability plus 5%, weak, uh, or, uh, conflict penalty, stability modifier plus 15%, conflict support plus 65%. The Germanic race has always been a martial one. Our heritage of victory stretches back even before the time of Christ when Arminius led the Germanic tribes to battle and routed three Roman legions sent to oppress the German people. Centuries later, it was Germany that took the mantle of Roman Charlemagne, formed the Holy Roman Empire, and made Germany the centre of Europe. Most recently, our victory in the Great War proved that the blood of great warriors still flows in the veins of Germany's sons. Now with war in Europe once again looking like an inevitability, our people have grown complacent, even pacifistic. The numerous domestic woes have left them in a weakened state, and some talk of outright concessions to our enemies in hopes of securing a peace deal that we know can never come through appeasement. We must remind the German people that we are not a race of appeasers, but a race of warriors, ready to defend the fatherland and crush those that wish to invade our lands and enslave our people. Yep, better, uh, whatchamacallit, construction speed, please. God damn, we've built a lot of the, uh, destroyers since the start of the game. All of these, as uh, are, uh, are stores, are all ours since the start of the game. How many, actually? Oh, I can't tell this point. Ah, oh, damn it. That's a shame. Have we built any heavy ship yet? Oh, we're just about to finish our first one. Nice. Oh, the Storm Gewehr Model 1937. Fantastic. Military survival kits. Now we have our first assault rifle. Fantastic. Get these to 20 each and we'll call it there, maybe. Production business cap, 10%, fantastic. What's that? Yeah, garrisons as well, actually. Torch march in Bolzen. It would have been a quiet night in the town of, in the town of Bolzen if it wasn't for the men holding a torch a march late into the Friday night. They shouted, they yelled, and some even fought the police. In the end, whoever the police wasn't able to stop them, uh, weren't able to stop them. They let it happen. They worried the situation would slip out of hand if the whole police force assaulted and arrested the marchers. These men weren't marching just to cause a sleepless night. However, they protested because they want an end to the German dominance in the region. The German government has issued a statement that they do not tolerate this type of behavior. 
but aren't going to take any action to stop from happening to Jabrow. They want an into German dominance. Why didn't we just shoot all of them? Break up their march, yeah. Austrian unrest will be increased by 15. What? It's the center of the empire, almost. At least it will be once we're finished with this path. Another 50 plus little power. Hmm. Yeah. Minus 5% in German goods. Now, with German Europe, resource gain efficiency plus 5%. Consumer goods factories minus 5%, stability plus 5%, resources to market minus 5%, that's all uh, modifiers of the German century. At night when the sea cradles me and the pale star gleams lie and, and the pale star gleam lies down on its broad waves, and then I free myself wholly from all activity and all the love and stand silent and breathe purely, alone, alone, cradled by the sea that lies there cold and silent with a thousand lights. Then I have to think of my friends and my gaze sinks into their gazes, and I ask each one silent alone, are you still mine? Is my sorrow a sorrow to you? My death a death? Do you feel for my love? My grief, just a breath, just an echo. And the sea peacefully gazes back, silent and smiles no. And no greeting and no, and no answer comes from anywhere. We have proved our worth on the continent, but we still have many places to go, many places to explore. And conquer, we must be close to victory. We just can't smell it yet. I'm not sure what that's from. Or even if it's from anything. Yep, yeah, get more of that. Then we can cut back on here. Four new divisions, fantastic. Achtung. Befehle. Achtung. Angetreten. And more motorized, please. Yeah, and here, 1940, please, just in case they start using tanks. And they probably will. This exchange rate is not good whatsoever. Six factories a day for less than six trucks per day. Like, trucks aren't that difficult right. to make. Angetreten. German, you're fantastic. Not going to bother with the rest of this. Not exactly an incentive. Or rather, not much incentive to go for it. Now we don't need the rest of this. That would be nice to be fair, but it's 50 days. This is all for after the war. This will get rid of the, the gridlock, which is a 25% political power gain. But it does increase all of the unrest, which would probably... Reduce political power gain itself. Then again, it's, it does seem to have capped out at minus 6%. So maybe we should do that. What, what are we losing currently? 0.75 day, but we are, we're not taking a focus. I think we need to get down here and get this. Then again, we still do have some time. No, we're not going to get this before the war. Not a hope. But we can get that. And that's what we need. 35... Yeah... 435 day focuses. Okay. Okay, we've got some time. We'll get this. Centralization with no compromises. Move Bundestag gridlock, which grants political power gain of minus 25%. The decision cost to reduce unrest in the Volksatom will be reduced and made all the same. I did. I, that didn't work in my test game for some reason. And we'll deploy more aircraft. Definitely be decreasing that. As soon as June of this year rolls around, we're going to have to start building our fort line. Because, by God, we're going to need right. it. Achtung. 
Large forest in Karlsruhe. Although a mostly disregarded region when looking at Germany. Is there anything here? No. Uh, Bohemia and bordering Moravia are vital to the German economy. And in the region of Bohemia there is a city, Karlsruhe. A report has recently been brought to the attention of the national government. Talking about how a month ago there was a fire in the city. A fire which uh, decimated the industrial capabilities of the city. The city, uh, the city and its citizens are now asking for aid from the government to repair the damage and get their lives back to normal. How the fire was started is still unclear. But many people assume it was because of the rather lacking budget for the fire safety program. The national government is still discussing the matter. I told you bad idea to make budget cuts regarding fire safety. Plus 50 political power. Chief of the... Uh, we, yeah, we can get Von Mackensen. 10% Division Defense. Fantastic. As soon as we get that focus done. Okay, so we're a little over 365 days. Until um, we have to go to war. Well, maybe a bit more than that, but... Though, to be fair, we, yeah, we can sell out the Netherlands, and they did get conquered fairly handily. Maybe we should just let them get gobbled up. I think we might. Yeah, letting letting the dust get gobbled up kind of makes things a lot easier, actually. Border-wise, frontline-wise, battle plan-wise. Yes, now what I meant to check was the ledger. Okay, so we'll have enough support equipment. Of course, we need to add another five companies, but that's beside the point. 170 days, that's fine. 100 days. So if I wanted to add, like, I'll just, I'll just say these three. How many more men would we need? Okay, good for you. Another 9,500 support equipment, oh my god. And what would our organization become? Because infantry divisions are always supposed to have beefy organization. That's kind of their main attraction. Yeah, 31 org, which is horrible for infantry divisions. At least their defense is very high. I suppose in that case, we'd better watch. Get two more divisions for the western front. And another 24 stack for the east. So another 28 divisions. See how we do with that. So yeah, we're actually not going to get too many more military factories. Just another two after that. So yeah, that'll be 25. Okay, perfect. Uh, two. Angetreten. How is the fort line? Literally nothing in the east or the south. Fives here, which is good. I'd say we should nearly just start building up the fort line. Because by God, we're going to the British are going to be our uh, our saving grace in this series. We are really going to need them to put in good work in Iberia. Mountaineer divisions. Yeah, they're terrible. Achtung. Mountaineer divisions all become infantry divisions as well. Bereit. Currently minus 0.240. Maybe we'll be able to get to a, a, a break even every day. That would be nice. Should we get Friedrich Paulus? No, I think we'll keep our hang on to our political power. Just so that. Uh, 
when we go to war, we can get war economy and extensive conscription straight away. Extensive conscription is the one we really need. I suppose we'd better start assigning some of these aircraft. Everyone go to Frankfurt. Got 2,500 aircraft. Six air zones, 2,500 aircraft. who don't have anything extra to do. Or rather, any more training to do. That's 600 parceled out. Western Front is the most important, I think, in terms of uh, aircraft. First of all, you should merge. Why does that decrease your level of training? You were both fully trained. That makes no sense. God, I hate that. Looks like we're going going fairly fast with those forts, which is what I'm very happy about. Technical team. Inventory equipment team? No. Anything for like uh, production cost? Be quite happy with that. No. Now how are we doing? Yep, they're all minus six percent, and now where we are? Oh, I think we're. At, I think that actually did it. Wow, that was a pretty hefty accident. Let me just quickly start doing this. Yeah, we went from minus point two four eight to plus point two seven eight. That that was damn, that twenty five percent was very strong. But now it's time to start going down this and get that 15% division defense on core territory. God, that's, I hope that'll uh, enable us to actually be able to hold. Now embracing the War of Attrition. 10 army experience, 1 percent cost reduction for land doctrine. Those who hold their breath longer will be able to swim for longer periods of time. Those who have quick reflex can catch a book falling from the table. Those who move quickly can dodge bullets. If we simply hold out longer, their enemy's victory will be assured. Prussian nationalists march in Kustrin. Trumpets can be heard loud and wide through throughout the town of Custron. Footsteps approaching the town centre. A man shouts, Preussen uber alles. Immediately after, the whole group of men join in and shout the same thing together. They march all day long, shouting their ideals at the town folk. Please don't try to stop them, as they are to stand down by their commander. They march late into the night, causing many sleepless nights. Until around 1am it stops. The town quiets down till morning, when people are awakened by trumpets once more. But this time not to march, but because the leader is meeting the mayor. He says he wants the town of Custron to unite with the neighbouring country willingly. Uh, the mayor does not respond immediately and says he needs to discuss it first. What? What? Axe? What? Uh, puppet Prussia? No, arrest them. They are traitors. Emergency meetings with the autonomies. They'd all be reduced by 25. Would that actually net us any, any political power or stability? Because they've been at minus six percent for quite a while now, no matter how high it goes. So, even if we knock it down, it won't change. Is my thinking. Auto max not necessary. Thirty six better start getting better. These yeah, better support companies. And 
angetreten. Damn, we are building these uh, mana forts very quickly. Of course, each one is more expensive. Yes, these ones will be twice the price, I think. I suppose I'd better build up the Italian front as well, just in case. Level 5 is perfect for that. Decrease in poverty, fantastic. That should net us all some stability or physical power gain. Yep, yeah, some physical power gain, nice. Anything bad currently affecting us? Don't think so. Lovely icons as well. Well, these ones are anyway. Achtung. Angetreten. Angetreten. We still have another 24 stack coming. At least that. So it's, uh, still another 417,000 men. Achtung. We have 835,000 men in the west, which, God, is not a lot at all, lad. Oh, my God. <sighs> Fantastic, we'll get that. Now, Von Mackinson's Trench Doctrine. 25 army experience, one fifty percent cost reduction for Grand Battle Plan Doctrine. As a veteran of the Great Conflict, I think we can believe every word that comes out of Von Mackinson's mouth. All his tactics and doctrine shook the world. And we believe we can shake it once more. With this doctrine, the plan is to not only hold out, but aim specifically for defense. Oh, perfect. As advancing won't be to be the objective with the positions the soldiers will have to take. This doctrine will, however, use many resources to function correctly because of its defensive nature. Advanced machine tools, fantastic. Don't think they are necessary. The air meta is all about stacking as much... Air attack as possible. Air attack and air defense. Agility used to be, uh, agility was the old meta. I want to get Goudier, but his attack is defense stat isn't great. Fuck, we'll just get Goudier in. I suppose it'd probably be ideal if we actually fill up the rest of these first. We can unlock naval doctrine. Abbott's cask is 150. No, let's just use it in, in uh, on this. Spirit of command, bad weather, penalty positioning. Yeah, positioning plus 15% efficient communications. Spirit of the navy. Ship refitting speed, ship repair speed. Yeah, navy refit yards. Spirit of naval academy. Angetreten. Angetreten. Achtung. Achtung. Seventy-five civilian factories. Well, seventy-six. I'm making land forts. We need those forts. By God, we need those forts. 
Air Force, uh, Air Force toxics leaked into their uh, accident this afternoon at the Air Force toxins facility located near the airport and west of the city center. After a mishap in communication, a tank filled with toxins which was being moved for train transport hit a metal beam. A hole appeared and out of it gas came pouring. Luckily, none of the employees have been hurt by the gas as it is mandatory to wear face, uh, to wear face masks inside the factories at all times. However, the effort to fix the leak has not yet been successful, but the manager of the facility assures everyone that it will be uh, fixed within a few days and that no measures have to be taken in terms of protection by the population of Erfurt. The local uh, government does not agree with the no protection policy, but do hope it can be fixed soon. They propose that the population should wear face masks from being outside to make sure everyone will be fine. They've also said that face masks will be handed out by them so as not everyone can afford them. For now, however, the only measure a measure that has to be taken is that they have temporarily closed the airport and banned carriage traffic and people from entering a designated area. Around the facility, they will continue to do this until they know for certain that gas is no longer a threat. Well, I feel like I'm in Manchester, lol. That is relevant in every timeline. I suppose the best way to do this would be to further split uh, the two of you. Guderian taking the north. And von Seat taking the south. Angetreten. Oh, there we are. Not finished. Oh, the uh, military survival kit's nice. Which uh, which we actually have in the divisions? We have flamethrowers. Okay. About 95 yet? You're at 95, okay. Oh shit, I forgot to do this. Do the cryptology. Yeah, uh, damn it. We're at war in like less than a year and I forgot to do it. I was so good at it in my test game. Now, uh, infiltrate the army, I guess. That's the most important one. Trends and ready. Fantastic. Idolizing the support doctrine. Three 100% research bonuses for support technology. Our men cannot hold any position with a gun alone. They need support, support from their comrades, support from artillery, from engineers, from nurses, from everyone who matters. When you support someone through and through, their muscles will be sure to outlast their brain and take uh, control to protect this grand nation. Looks like we definitely need more uh, infantry equipment than we do artillery. That's fine. Tier equipment 1914. Nice. Funnily enough, with the anti air here, we go from a 2 centimeter gun to a quadruple 2 centimeter gun. It's about as direct of an upgrade as you can get. That's pressure board, ain't worth a fuck. Finish with the level twos. Oh, it's only August. We're doing well. No reason why we shouldn't be able to get level fours. A Mexican threat. And the division, right. fantastic. Fantastic. We formed the cryptology department, so we will immediately begin decrypting the French cipher, which will take a very long time. Yeah, six hundred and fifty days. Hopefully, we can get it before the war. But if we can't, no biggie. 
But all right, lads, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing, as well as commenting down below. I shall see you in the comment section of this video, and I shall see you in the next video. But until then, goodbye.